guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i'm starting this video in my car because i'm about to get on the road and get thrifting so we have a charity shop challenge video today and it is in collaboration with mr carrington so if you're a fan of the charity shop vlogs videos hauls that kind of thing i'm sure you're already aware of mr carrington but if not he does loads of them amazing finds he gets so i'll leave um a link to his video below we are doing this thrift challenge together i say thrift i know that's american charity shop but there is actually one store that i want to head to that's a second hand more antique store that isn't actually a charity shop i've never been to it before if you are interested i shop in the northwest of england lancashire so i'm heading to burnley colne those sort of places today so we're going to do very much of a come charity shopping style vlog but we're adding the element of a challenge in there just to make it a bit more interesting see if either of us can scrape a few bonus points to see who wins this challenge i'm not gonna lie i'm already setting myself up to lose just because he manages to find the most amazing things the thrift list that we are aiming for has five bonus items if we can spot any in store so do let us know in the comments who you think did better but the five items are starbucks mug note i have never found a starbucks mug in a charity shop ewan has managed to find plenty so that's number one. Number two is a white company item slash white company dupe item. Again, he's found actual white company items. Mind you, so have I. I've got a jumper from white company. We'll see how we get on with that. But to be honest with you, if you don't know my style, if you're new to my channel, I am very much white company style in my interior and fashion, really. I'm very neutral in colour schemes and I am moving house as well. So very shortly, I will be thrifting in a whole new area with loads of new charity shops to rummage through. So that's the second item. The third item is a ugly shirt, <laughs> which is going to be quite hard, I think. I think that's going to be a challenge, that one, because there's a fine line between an ugly shirt and an ugly shirt that actually is very cool i want an ugly shirt that you wouldn't purchase so we'll see how we got on with that starbucks mug white company item ugly shirt bargain find is the other one so who can bag the biggest bargain and last but not least designer find thinking louis vuitton gucci prada that kind of thing aside from the actual challenge element to this video generally thrifting wise i am keeping my eyes peeled for things for the new house autumn winter knitwear maybe and in terms of things for the house i'm actually after um like bustiers i'm really interested in trying to find one of them also old antique style thick gold framed artwork and again anything that screams white company or neptune home that's my kind of vibe and the biggest bargain because i do like a discount as well so if that isn't the lengthiest intro i've ever done make sure if you haven't already sit back relax grab yourself a nice cozy drink right i think it's time to stop rambling now get on the road and i'll check in with you guys in a bit okay let's get shopping i'm starting with these beautiful candlesticks this first shop that i went to is called northwest air ambulance i really loved both of these and they gave me very much white company vibes i also headed to the shoe section and saw these beautiful shoes brand new from cos and i love cos they even had the stickers on the bottom so you could tell they'd never been worn the only downside, they weren't in my size, so I was a little bit upset and disappointed with that because I did really, really love them. And they were only £6. I also spotted these June ones. I think these were again £6, yeah. And also these Topshop Gucci loafer style shoes for £4. Speaking of Gucci, this little watch that I found is probably my best designer find. I obviously kept my eyes peeled for more designer finds, but as soon as I saw this in the first store, I thought I was onto a winner with being able to spot some good designer pieces. I also spotted some festive things and definitely on this trip I was keeping my eyes peeled for all things autumn, all things Christmas, especially for the new house. So these are all things that they stock in their store which are brand new so they're not gifted second-hand items they are actually brand new and then I headed over to the shirt section the menswear where I thought I would keep my eyes peeled for ugly shirts 
But again, it was really tricky this to decipher what an ugly shirt is. Anyway, I didn't spot any, so I moved over to the women's wear and had a quick look and spotted this lovely polo neck knit jumper, which I really liked. They also have a new items still with tags rail in the store, which I really appreciate. It's quite nice if you particularly like looking at homeware, but then also in terms of the clothing, just things that are new. The fact that they're sectioned off like this is quite handy. Moving in to Oxfam, this one is $4.99 for this Jilly Hicks. Is it Gilly Hicks? Jilly Hicks top. And also this Reese top. I thought this champagne gold satin colour was beautiful. And then I also spotted this label Lab top, which I love, and New Look leather dress. Great for autumn. I did have a quick look in the menswear and spotted this pretty garish print, but again, nothing to stand out and still no signs of any Starbucks mugs anywhere. Now moving into, I think this is Cancer Research, and I spotted this All Saints belt. I am such a fan of All Saints, and I've been after a brown belt, and I thought this colour was lovely. I also found this Zara blazer. I love a Zara blazer. I have several in my wardrobe already. Another thing I like to look out for is old kind of books, especially in my colour palette of neutrals, beige, creams, whites, blacks. And I loved this woman's own cookbook. On the inside, it even said it was vintage, three pounds. Again, another garish print. Could this be the ugly shirt? Anyway, moving on to St. Vincent's charity shop now. I saw this Zara knit and also this bowl for 50p, which I thought could have been my bargain find. And then they had the ugly shirt. It's not really a shirt, it's a t-shirt, but this was horrendous. Moving across now to an age UK and this is probably my favourite shop of the entire day. They had some beautiful artichokes in this white colour which I loved. They also had a bust at £20. Now I loved this one. I wasn't a huge fan of the colour but I just thought the shape and everything of it was lovely. And they also had some amazing lamps. Oh my gosh, hit the jackpot with these ugly shirts? I don't know. I think the fact that there were so many of them is what made them stand out to me. They also have a huge furniture section in the back of this shop and I spotted this kind of stone sculpture along with loads of other things like mirrors, wardrobes, tables, big trunks as well, suitcases, and yet again, more lampshades. They had this huge one at the back for 25 pounds and oh, I just loved it. But again, I just thought 25 pounds was a bit steep. Anyway, moving over now to a YMCA. This caught my attention in the window, so I headed on in. I also spotted this magazine rack. I love a bit of rattan. I feel like it's very vintage. My eyes are always drawn to it. Teach me how to fall. Fall into the the younger me would have loved this as like a band tee, but I don't really wear them anymore. And I also loved this pure linen blazer from M&S, £4.50. I would have probably changed the buttons. They also had a pound rail and they had this beautiful knit jumper from George Asda for a pound and lots of things from George and also Next. 
I always love it when there's a pound rail because then you just know everything's the same price, you can have a real good rummage and you know that you're going to bag a bargain if you do spot anything that you like. They also had this Star Bowl which is a very white company style so I was tempted for that and again headed to the mugs. I don't know why this one stood out to me so much, I just thought it was beautiful. It was £4, pounds. Um, I don't know, I just loved it. Moving over to another Age UK, they had this display, this lantern was very white company and this candlestick as well, loved both of those. Unfortunately they were only display items. 79p, odd price point for a dress or jumpsuit, I'm not quite sure what that was. Uh, but again, another bargain find. These were all a pound as well on this rail and this Primark dress. I actually think I bought this, I can't remember. Who knows, I may have even donated it. That may have been my dress one day because I do quite often give to this charity shop as well. Wicker baskets are another thing I keep my eyes peeled for and they had a couple in this store and they also had one of these heart-shaped hanging decoration things for 99p. Again, another thing that reminds me of the White Company. This was a perfect little autumnal home decor piece for only $1.49 and then I moved on to this gold dust, this bust that drew me into the shop, it's a local one called Pendleside Hospice, $5.99 this one was, I loved the colour, this colour is perfect, it's kind of like an off-white kind of stone colour, then they did have this white one at $12.99, this one was far more heavy felt like a lot better quality but I preferred the shape of the other one so I was umming and ahhing and left it then regretted it. I also saw this sundial for £10, I thought that was really nice, it was very heavy though. And then this pestle and mortar, I love a marble pestle and mortar with the wooden handle, Neptune have one like that where they have the wooden handle, only 6 99 much cheaper than Neptune. And this kind of crystal candlestick and tea light holder were really pretty and catching that beautiful autumnal sunlight. Look at that sunlight coming through the window. I love an autumn day when the sun is shining bright like that. Anyway, back to the charity shopping. I found those marble heart shaped tea light holders for only 50p, bargain, very white company, and this black candlestick as well. I loved this All Saints shirt. If it had been in a bigger size, I probably would have bought it for myself. Okay, so good progress so far. I was very, very tempted by the two, well, I've actually seen three bustiers. Is that what they're called, busts, bustiers? You know what I mean? One in one store that was like more of a full body, no head, that was too dark and too gray for my liking, and it was 20 pounds as well. That was in an age UK. The same place that the beautiful, white artichokes were as well but they were just a bit too pricey i thought i also spotted the two bustiers the one in the white at 12 pounds and the one in the neutral natural kind of color for 5.99 which i love i honestly don't know why i didn't pick that up so i think i actually might go back and pick that one up because i'm already having regrets anyway i've just come to the pendleside hospice in burnley the furniture store that they've got and I've just pulled up and realised that there are signs everywhere saying we've moved. So it's now on Church Street in Burnley. So I'm going to head there and hope that they are open. And one also thing to note that I am keeping my eyes peeled for are autumnal bits, Christmas bits as well. Because I do find these are the sort of times that if they do keep the seasonal stock away, that obviously now is the time they start bringing it out. And then I'm probably going to head to that antique shop as well and have a look in there. We are here. <laughs> you could literally see through my roof but this is the new store on church street if you are in burnley let's go in and see what's inside wow okay starting with a bang with this one because this piano was beautiful however i do already have my white piano keyboard my digital piano so um i didn't inquire on prices but they did say any price considered so worth noting if you're in the market for a new piano and you are local to the area this shop is quite big, it's quite nice and spaced out so you can see everything really easily. They have a few little home decor pieces but the majority of things are big furniture items. You 
They did have a couple of wicker style placemats, things to put hot plates on, which is very white company. I know they tend to sell them in seagrass and wicker as well. And then they had this wine rack for just five pounds and these cute little tea light holders in that kind of mercury stained effect. Again, a white company trait, which you can see with their Highland escape candles. Then moving on to another store now, we have this gorgeous marble. I mean, that was so heavy, but it is an ashtray and we don't smoke. I was very tempted, however, for this bargain find at 75p, this little candle snuff in black. I just, I don't know, I really liked it. I thought it could look quite nice out on display as like a decal piece. This is the kind of artwork that I love. Lydia Elise Millen homeware account again is inspo for this. The colours in this weren't for me but if it was a more natural beige painting then I would have gone for it. How fun was this? Wreck This Journal it was called. It was found in the kids section for 99p and I don't know, it was just something about this that my inner child wanted this to just get it and I don't know, it just stood out to me. Anyway, moving on now to the antique place that I was talking to you about, it's called Trawden Furniture. They have a lot of new items, which you'll see here, that said factory clearance. So they actually had several items of each individual thing. So yeah, well worth a look if you are local and there were some real bargains to be had. But for me, it was the real jumble sale in the back that just caught my attention. For me, the messier the better. <laughs> so they had the knickknacks, they had the secondhand home decor bits, the smaller finds, but they also have so many items of big furniture, chairs, wardrobes, tables. Oh my gosh, you can see how much stuff that they had. For some, I get this would be an absolute nightmare. For me, it's like a big treasure hunt. I absolutely loved having a good rummage through this shop. I was really tempted to get this Covent Garden food book. Uh, I love the binder. If it's got a nice neutral binder, is it binder? Binding? That could be really nice on display, then I am tempted. So yeah, for a pound, I thought that was a good find. Again, more of these baskets. Very my style, love these so much. 20 pounds, they're brand new. I should have asked where she got them from just so that I could keep it in mind for future maybe. When we're actually in the new house and I'm on the hunt for those, but for now I just left them. I thought this was really nice, this little wooden key box that you could put next to the front door and just have hanging nice and conveniently as you're coming in and out of your house. And then I loved this big kindling tub that they had. We actually have a log basket already which I got from HomeSense so I didn't pick it up but I did really really like that. And look at this for an antique, that piano is I feel like beautiful but a mess at the same time. the final pit stop, the last store before heading home and showing you what I did get. 
it. And I am at Bernardo's. I've never been to this one before, so we'll see what it's like. So first things first, they had two big tubs of suitcases with them all being at half price. I was tempted to ask in the thought of them being handy for the move, but I ended up just leaving it on this occasion. So this store is actually pretty big and they also have a separate clothing and a separate kids store. So well worth a visit, again, if you're local to the area. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you're around Whenever you're around I loved this marble kind of jug, vase type thing. It was very heavy, even though it was so small. And I also spotted this stone pebble type thing with little tea lights in, which I thought was cute. Dance for me Easy tiger, easy Let your hair down Come closer Let me see All your million faces And all your million mistakes Spotted this, who else can relate? Any other Capricorns out there? Let me know in the comments below I thought I'd hit the jackpot With these two massive tubs Full of mugs I searched and searched and went through every single mug. Nothing to find in these tubs, unfortunately, when it comes to any Starbucks mugs. So the hunt continues. They had some really nice book selections. I thought this soup and breads one was really wholesome. Then I found this Delia's Winters collection cookbook and there was something about the fact that the pages had been marked by the previous owner just excited me. One of them was autumn and winter entertaining. So there was more than just cooking in this and I don't know, I just really liked it. So. I was tempted for that, I did leave it on this occasion, and then I spotted this. Now this looks like a vintage book, if ever I've seen one. So last but not least, moving over to the Bernardo's clothing store that they had just across the way, I found this Zara coat which I thought was really, really nice. Then they also had a few other winter coats which were brand new, still with the labels on. They had this George Asda one and it was also made from recycled materials from £23 down to £10 and it was in this beautiful sage green colour which I am obsessing over at the minute and they also had a River Island coat at £30. A last and final look through the shirts in a bid to find an ugly shirt and I came across this blazer which I actually loved. I thought this would be a really nice oversized fit on me layered with maybe a hoodie and in a gorgeous print, perfect for autumn. And just like that, I am back home with a much needed coffee in hand. I feel like, should we see how many steps I've done today? I feel like when you go charity shopping, you do so many steps. Eight and a half thousand steps, five and a half kilometers. Yeah. Just a little tip when you're thrifting, because everyone's obviously touching bits to like rummage through. I always carry a little, um, little, that's pretty generously sized hand sanitizer. This one is Vetiver Pample Mousse. It's one of the... Zara collabs, like Jo Malone collabs um, that they sell. I think they're only about $3.99 and they smell nice. They're one of those ones that just, you know, absorbs straight into your skin. Apparently, the cheaper ones are the ones that feel gloopy and gross when you go into a store and they don't have enough alcohol content. Just putting that out there. I feel like you're a bit low. I feel like I'm squatting. <laughs> squatting? Slouching. There we go, that's a bit better. So, I am back home. After, I'm going to say a semi-successful trip in that I saw quite a few things that I liked, but I'm being super, super strict with myself, especially when it comes to the price point of things. We all know charity shops seem to be getting more and more expensive. I don't know why. I feel like if they sold things at much more bargain prices, I'd have bought everything that I saw that I liked. 
but it always makes me question when I actually look at the price. Um, so I didn't see any Starbucks mugs. I thought I hit the jackpot when I got to that last store, that Bernardo's one, which I loved by the way. New discovery, so glad I have discovered it. Um, with the big tubs of mugs and I rummaged and there were no Starbucks mugs there. In terms of wacky shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Adidas with the weed and it says addicted. I mean, that was a shocker. It wasn't really a, an ugly shirt per se, but it was an ugly top that I really think is ugly. Not an ugly, cool looking top. My designer find, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Gucci watch was a pretty good find for just a few pounds as well, pretty good bargain. And then in terms of white company and best bargain, for me, I'm gonna combine it into one. Although it wasn't white company, it's white company dupe. I'm gonna go with this little glass candlestick. I love the white company, the way that they dress tables, the inspo for like Christmas and festive meals and things like that. They always scatter loads of tea lights and white company candles with different height dimensions through candlesticks. So they've brought out some black ones this year. They have the glass ones as well. I nearly picked up that big cream coloured one. I think was it about £4, £3.50, something like that. And I was so tempted for that, but I didn't. And honestly, I don't know why. Same with that bust. Oh my God, I went back to get it. They didn't have it. Can you believe it? They sold both of them. That was the store that was the like beige natural coloured one and the white one, both sold. I was absolutely devastated that I missed out on that. I should have just bought it when I saw it. But anyway, we missed out. Moving on from that. So this little find at 50p is the cheapest thing I found along with the White Company inspired, White Company dupe find. So that's actually the only thing I bought. Can you believe it? I didn't really see many clothes that I liked. However, whilst I was out, I did pop into a few other discount stores. I've been rummaging the shelves, keeping my eyes peeled for White Company Dupes, which is a tradition on my channel. I've done a few videos of these in the past. I did one last Christmas with Christmassy themed things. I'm doing one again. I'm gonna do it maybe my next video if I can get it all together and filmed in time. So stay tuned for that hopefully on Wednesday. So make sure you are subscribed with your notification bell on. If you want to see some bargain white company dupe finds for their like new in Christmas collection, probably one of my favorite videos to film that. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyway, I am planning on doing more of these, maybe even in the lead up to Christmas with the house move and the new area to thrift from. There are surrounding villages which are a bit more affluent to where I'm moving to. So I might be able to get some good designer white company finds in those videos. So thank you once again for watching today's video and give it a thumbs up if you want more charity shop challenges from myself and Mr. Carrington. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.